That's right, Megan. We are talking about Jason's weekly podcast. Hey, Amarillo. And we are talking a little bit about faith this week. Yes. Uh, we were talking off camera. You kind of been kind of holding off on, on talking to a few of the pastors around town. Uh, and you, you picked a good one. This is a guy that I've known for quite some time, David Ritchie. Right. Yeah, my goal is always to introduce my listeners to people that maybe voices they don't always hear. Right. Um, and so there are a lot of great pastors in Amarillo. Pastors make wonderful podcast guests because yeah. they're good at talking. That's their job. They're great at storytelling. Right. Yeah. And so I, I've, I've included Anthony Harris from the North Side, um, Manny De Los Santos from the Barrio neighborhood, Nell Newton, who is a Unitarian Universalist pastor. I mean, people that, that maybe if you're not within those communities, you haven't spoken to. Yeah. David Ritchie probably has a higher profile, and that's this week's guest. And he has a higher profile because he's... Uh, a pretty prominent pastor in uh, West Amarillo. He's mm -hmm. a pastor of Redeemer Christian Church, which is relatively new. But it's um, been around a while, but under a different name. And that's part of its yeah. interesting story. You know, the church itself is 10, 12 years old, uh, but it was a sort of replanting of West Amarillo Christian mm -hmm. Church, which dates back to the 1920s. Yeah. It's the church that actually planted Paramount Terrace Christian Church, which became Hillside, which is huge. Yeah. And so it's got this long history. A lot of times you find young pastors like David who want to plant their own church because they think, well, you know, there's, there's a need here that I think I can meet. Um, David had an opportunity to replant. So in start, instead of starting over from scratch, he took this struggling congregation, yeah. one that was older, that was low on money, and injected his youthful energy, yeah. his vision, um, some younger generations into it. And so now it's a thriving church with older people in it, with a lot of history, with a lot of new vigor. It's one of those yeah. stories you don't hear all the time in the church world. And he is, he is fascinating to listen to, incredibly intelligent. Um, right. And he... I'm, I'm sure this is going to be probably one of my favorite ones. I need to tune in for this. And let's be honest, he, his beard is, I mean, if, if we're just going on, on pastors with beards alone, he's definitely on the top. Right. right? There's like John Calvin. Yeah. And then there's, there's David Ritchie. <laughs> you, you can, you know, you, you can't get the essence of the beard by listening to the podcast. So you'll have to go to my Facebook page, Hey Amarillo, uh, or on Instagram and get a real, a real look at that because it's, a, it's an awesome beard. Thank you for introducing us to people around town that typically we wouldn't run into in our everyday walks, uh, and, and we we are surrounded by fascinating people with incredible stories to tell. True, and even a pastor like David, if you don't go to his church, you're probably not going to meet him, and yeah. I, I think that's one of the important things is to just hear voices that you don't hear all the time. All right, heyamarillo.com is where you can go for more information. You can also go over to uh, jasonboyette.com. A lot of different options there, but download the show and, and check it out. Jason, always good to see you. Coming up on the show today, no one wants... Beautiful.